Hey guys, uh, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, welcome back, and uh, I appreciate you uh, watching this. Uh, and today, uh, this evening, we are going to make putin. Uh, that's P O U T I N E with meatballs. So, uh, again, thank you for uh, watching my channel and thank you for choosing my channel and uh, thank you for your time today. And uh, here I am. <laughs> ka -ching. So, we're going to get started and dive into this right away. So, I'm going to show you what ingredients you're going to need. And it's very simple. It's my version called P O U T I N E Putin with meatballs. So uh, let me give you the ingredients right here real quick and I'll show it to you real quick. Hold on. Uh, you're going to need uh, basically all these ingredients. Uh, so I'm going to show it to you. That's uh, here. Let me take my uh, camera back here. So you're going to need some scallions, about two or three bunches. Could be more, uh, two or two bunches. Uh, you're going to need uh, some uh, a garlic. Uh, and then uh, the, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and a half lobes, half of yellow onions or any kind of onions, but that one, you're going to need uh, this uh, cheese, provolone cheese is what I have. You can choose whatever cheese you want, cheddar, jack, what have you, whatever floats your boat. And of course, uh, uh, I'm going to use, there's bacon bits over there. And there's also here, the, we're going to need a gravy. It's a, uh, I got this at uh, your local grocery store, which is Publix is mine. It's uh, gravy. And of course, I have some uh, frozen stuff here. You're going to need the fries. It's one of the, that, that's the main ingredient right there. And next to this is also a main ingredient, uh, meatball, uh, frozen meatballs. It's made up so I don't have to make any, you know, uh, you know make it simple. Uh, I don't have to, like I said, make it very fancy, but you can get this here. Uh, you know, all these, most of the stuff at the old local grocery store. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start chopping up some stuff and I'll be right back. All right. So, hey guys, uh, welcome back. So I just finished chopping the onions and, uh, uh, the, um, lobes of, uh, garlic. So basically what I'm doing is basically preparing this. So what we're going to do is to make the gravy out of the putin is what we call that a uh, putin i don't know that's for french anyway uh and uh, uh it's basically french fries uh with uh with some stuff on it okay so that's the it's a kind of a canadian version kind of a french fry that's very famous there up in canada or you know up there somewhere in canada so we're not in canada but uh, i decided uh you know i wanted to do this because uh uh, I, I, um, I think uh, you guys are going to enjoy this. Anyway, so what I did was just here, the garlic, those lobes, uh, I just cut it into like in a mince kind of like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, less than an eighth of an inch. And same thing as diced onions, we're going to do that. So what we're going to do is going to take this gravy right here. Oh, get there. That little bug there. Get that bug out of there. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that, guy. We're going to take this gravy right here. We're going to... Um, uh, basically, and I forgot to mention to you, you're going to need some kind of a butter. I didn't have any butter in my fridge, but I got this McDonald's butter right here. That'll do. What you're going to do is this, uh, we're going to saute the onions, that, uh, and the garlic. And then of course, and this is going to be the gravy that's on top of it, uh, to bring you some flavor. Okay. And of course the butter is to, uh, you know, you know, put it in the pan and mix it together. So anyway, we're going to get started and do that. So just bear with me while I get that ready for you, right? All right, again, and thanks for watching my channel and don't forget to subscribe. So hey guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, and so what I'm gonna do now is we're going to um, make the gravy uh, for the Putin. So right here, it's got the McDonald's butter. I'm gonna put it in there, it's warming up. I'm gonna get, let it go right here. And then just like, right over there you can see that sizzling right there you go all right and i'm gonna saute i'm gonna put this down a little bit so it's low and then i'm gonna put in the uh onions and the garlic i like to put the garlic in first there you go all right Ooh, yeah, well it's uh kind of like oh we gotta it's kind of getting brown there so we got to be careful i'm gonna put it lower because of the butter we want to mix that butter in there with it and so now we're going to put the onions. There you go. Okay. All right. We're just going to let this cook for about a minute. And then what we're going to do, and I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to pour the gravy in there. That's going to be the, the gravy uh, part for the cooking. Okay. So hold on one moment. 
So hey guys, welcome back. So the next step is, oh, I can smell that onion and the garlic at the aroma. It's, 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 oh wow. If you can just smell it, you can see the smoke coming out of there. But anyway, we're going to uh, put this um, gravy in there. It's uh, Heinz. It's about uh, 12 ounces. Like I said, you can get it in your local grocery store. It's, uh, or you can make your own gravy, whatever. But I, you know, I was lazy, so I just made, got this. It's a home style uh, gravy from Heinz. It's called Classic Chicken. And so I just pour that in there, and there you go, and that's the gravy part of that. And then what I'm going to do is just let that cook and let it simmer, and then I constantly, and let it simmer, and then so it'll warm up so all that ingredients will be mixed up. All right, so I'm going to do that. The next step I'm going to do is just uh, hold on while I uh, put my thoughts together, and we can get going. All right, uh, the next thing we're going to do is the french fries. What we're going to do with the french fries, right? All right. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're, I was going to say the fries is going to be next we're going to cook, but actually we're going to do the meatballs because that takes a while for it. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to do the meatballs. So, you know, you can do it. We have to cook that meatballs. And my, my, it's very simple because, or you can make homemade. But I, I got this one right here. It's, uh, let me show you here. And so what I'm going to do is going to air fry it and uh, over here. So this is my air fryer. I'm going to use that conventional here. Uh, we're gonna actually uh, do it for about 10 to 12 minutes put it in the air fryer I'm gonna put about uh, I'd say I'll put 10 meatballs. How's that to make that so hold on one moment while I put that in there So guys, uh, uh, what I'm doing right now is put the meatball just 10 like I told you right there in there in the air yeah, This air fryer it's right over there. Look at that right there. I just got this recently uh, And then of course what I did beforehand is just you know, I want to make sure that you know it doesn't stick so uh, I also I would also recommend you put a, a, a aluminum foil in there as well because you don't want it to be there in there like that right there see it has a little hole on. I don't know if you can see that but there the air fryer has holes there so it might go in there so you know protect the uh, uh, you know the uh, air fryer itself with this holding thing so I did use a little olive oil as cooking spray so just you know just in case so I don't want it to stick in there so what I'm going to do now is just put it in there in the air fryer for about, uh, you know, 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. So hold on one moment while I do that for you, okay? So there you go, guys. It's in the air fryer right here. I just stuck it in there. Right there, the meatballs. Oops, sorry. Uh, I'm going to do 10 or 12 minutes. And right there is at 350. You see that? And then, of course, the timer there. So we'll let that cook, and then we'll see. And that uh, is the recommendation. Look at the label of... Uh, that I looked at in the back of the label of that um, meatball thing. So let's let that cook. All right. So in the meantime, while we're cooking the gravy, look at it already. Look, it, it's already mixed up in there. Uh, I put it on low so that way you want to keep it warm. Uh, and then of course I'll, I'm going to cover it. All right. Yeah. So uh, I took out the uh, meatballs from the air fryer for that duration of 12 minutes. And, and so as you can see right here. I made the suggestion see it didn't stick so and also what I'm going to do is taste test it and to make sure that the meatballs are cooked you always want to make sure that okay and double check that and you, you can uh, do that let me give you hold on one moment all right so I took a moment of meatballs right here and I diced it up and you can see right here that it's really hot I can tell it right here so here there it is I'm gonna taste it I'll let you show and I'll tell you if it's done here it goes Mm. It's warm, but I think I want it hot, so I'm gonna let it go for another uh, uh, air fry for another five minutes. All right. So hey guys, uh, the next step we're gonna do is gonna pour the uh, French fries in there, the frozen French fries. Have to be frozen, of course, obviously. That's what I have, and I have this here. I got this from the local grocery store. And it's been sitting actually in the, uh, you know, uh, freezer for, for quite some time. But, you know, I wanted to make sure to clean my freezer and then see what we can do to, you know, uh, at least uh, not waste it. So that I decided to make the, the, the poutine, that's what we call it. So anyway, uh, this is fresh frozen fries right here. Uh, actually, it's about 32 ounces. You can see right up here the label right there. Anyway, any, so what I did was half a bag of this right here. Of this 32 ounces of uh, uh, straight that these are any you can use any kind of fries I, I like this I got happen to get the straight cut fries so what I'm gonna do 
is put it into the air fryer and for about I'm gonna do it for 400 uh, degrees and let it cook there for about uh, I don't know about 10 minutes all right so guys uh, it's been 10 minutes uh, now I got it off the uh, air fryer and it looks you have to mix this up right here so that way you can uh, you know make sure that that all are going to be distributed evenly so when it air fries that so I did uh, you know uh, take a look at it and kind of feel it with my hands and some of it's still a little bit uh, frozen and wet so we're going to put it another for another 10 minutes and just make sure you should you know you distribute this evenly with a tong or right here in this case I have this uh, here tong and then just uh, kind of you know distributed evenly so we're going to let it cook for another 10 minutes right guys so welcome back guys so uh we have the fries are cooked i can tell and i already tasted it they're kind of brown you can tell so the next step is we're going to put the uh that provolone cheese over here we're going to put it on top and then uh, we're going to put it back in the air fryer basically and let it melt so we're going to put the there right there for provolone that's one slice uh hold on one moment here let me get my slices two slice we're going to cover the uh whole fries basically so if you just you know to cover it up basically to cover the fries so all that cheese and Provolone cheese will, will stay in the, uh, will you know, will melt in, in most of the fries. We'll just cover it up. I may, it may take five or six. I have no idea, but I've never, this is, you know, uh, this is my first trial on this. So there we go. See, look at that. I'm doing that right here. And there's some more over here. I'm going to basically let you look around there. See, right there, cover that up. Right there. Just to cover up, uh, you know, uh, the fries so it'll get in there. So, you know, I, I uh, got about, uh, you know, I got a half a pound of this anyway, was of this uh, thing. So it'll cover it up right there. And it's already one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we'll put one more just uh, to, on that side there to make it six. And you can tell it's already starting to melt, but we're going to only put it there for, you know, like maybe less than a minute. But I can tell it's already, it's already starting to melt. I can feel it. Sorry. And by the way, my hands are... are uh, I, I clean and fresh. I, I wash it. So I'm going to do that and put it in the air fryer, right? So, hey guys, uh, that was just about a minute, and I bet you can tell here. Look at the cheese are starting to melt. So I'm just going to let it sit because obviously, our air fryer, you know, it's gonna, it, it, did the, it did its job. So you can tell the cheese are melting. So hold on. Look at that. Can you tell? Yes. Looks so good. It's melty and gooey. So hey guys, so what I'm going to do is the melt, cheese is melted on top over there. So my next step I'm going to do is take this right here and flip it over and put it in here. So what we're going to do is on the other side of the fries, uh, we're going to uh, basically, uh, you know, put more cheese and let it melt. All right. So I'm going to do that. I think I can do it. That, that, uh, now you guys got to be careful here because, you know, this might be hot, but it, right now it's cooled off. So I'm going to take this right here. And if you can watch it, oh, I'm gonna do this right here simultaneously. Okay, here we go. Here we go. And here, should I flip this? Hold on one second, all right? I'll do it. I can't, here. Watch this right here. Watch me do it right there. And I'm gonna flip it over there, okay? Hold on. Just like that, like that. There you go, see? Now that side here, look at that, see? I did that. All the cheese is in there. And the next step we're going to do, and you can see it's hot, we're going to put more cheese on there, all right? Let me put the cheese in there. So, hey, guys. So, I, I've covered the uh, the French fries with the cheese on the other side. So, I flipped it over, okay? You can tell. You see that. So, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to cover it. And what I'm going to put is put it in the air fryer. Now, I'm going to monitor it closely. I wouldn't put it more than l less uh, in a minute. So, you have to monitor it because you don't want that cheese to, you know melt all the way you just want it to melt all right and it's melting right now as we speak because you know it's still hot all right hold on one moment so hey guys i put it about a minute and a half and looks like all the cheese has melted on the other side so what i'm going to do is transfer it to the splatter right now so one moment so i took that out of the air fryer put it in here so what i'm going to do i'm going to watch it as i'm going to put it into the splatter right here and bear with me here for a second all right, here I go, transporting it. Right here, be careful, this this is hot. So I just wanna go, boom, bada boom, bada boom. Look at that, see the cheese? Ooh, it's melting it, I'm gonna put my hands, my hands out wide, as you can see the cheese is right there, see? Look at that cheese. So it's all 
there and you can tell right there all the cheese is right there melted on there so that's it right there there's cheese on the bottom and the top and so the next step we're going to do as you can see right here is put the gravy on there all right so hold on one second so here's the gravy that we're going to put on top i i let it you know uh, simmer i put it on low and you can tell it's hot and burning so what i'm going to do is transfer it over there and put it on top all right of the uh french fry, uh cheese fries so i'm going to transport the um actual gravy from the oven over here and pour it on top of that oh look at that oh look at that there you go you see that that looks so nice right here look at that oh delicious there we go and that is what we call the putin my version right here has it now i did a little like that said right there and it filled all the way now that cheese is going to melt on top of that as well and there you go so what i've done already i cut up the scallions here and so just to make it look good i'm going to put a little oops sorry here right there right there put it on top of that for garnish right there and of course, I'm going to put some bacon bits in here. Look, the bacon bits over there. We're going to put it right here. I'm just going to take a spoon, oops, uh, a tablespoon or whatever it is you can do, and just put it in here. See? Like that. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom. And of course, we're going to do that right here. Boom. And the next step is the meatballs. The meatballs right here. I got and then we're going to, where's my uh, tong? I'm going to put it right on top. Well, whatever you want to do with it. Put it right here. One, two, and it's already warm. I kept it warm here and so forth. And there it is. Put it there. And there you go. Meatballs on top. And there you go. Here you go. And there you go. And that is my version of Putin with meatballs. So... All right, and here I am again. Here I am. Oh, I'm here. So thank you for watching my channel. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or whatever, or dislike it. Uh, I, I want to know. So maybe in the future I can make some more videos that you like or dislike. Just, you got to tell me. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be shy, okay? So until next time then, ka-ching. And I'm going to, well, we're not done yet. We're going to taste that real quick, all right? So hold on one moment. So hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, well, I'm back here. We're gonna taste test this now. Look at this. Look at how that is. It's called Putin with meatballs, my version. So I'm gonna look at this. See, take that right there. Ooh, how gooey that is right there. Ooh, nice and gooey. And then we're gonna take one of the meatballs right here. And then I'm going to lock and load into my mouth right here. There we go, here we go. You guys see that? There you go. Oh, damn, it's all so chewy and so forth. With a, but we'll get a fry there. Let's get a fry here with the fries there. There we go. There's fries loaded in there. And I'm going to lock and load and put it in my mouth. All right. Here it goes. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. That is so delicious. So, and then I'm not supposed to talk. I can feel the cheese, the fries, and of course the meatballs. And I could. I can taste the uh, actual, the gravy. It was awesome. And so anyway, um, thanks for watching my channel. Until next time. And again, I got my spectacles on today. So anyway, uh, thank you. appreciate it. And until next time, and don't forget to hit, hit or like or subscribe. Ka-ching. Bye.